Castlewood is a defending Class B girls basketball champion, but saw its season come to a close in the Sodak 16, meaning we'll crown a new champion this weekend in Huron. Ethan is the number one seed and lone undefeated team in Class B and opens tournament play against Waverly South Shore Thursday at noon at Huron Arena. Corsica Stickney and Ipswich will meet in the nightcap, which is scheduled for 745. Ethan knocked off Dupree in the Sodak 16 to advance to their fifth consecutive state tournament. The wrestlers returned everyone from last year's fourth place squad, including standout senior Carly Gustafson, whose leadership on and off the court has helped guide Ethan to a perfect 22-0 record. Two, three years ago, she was definitely more passive. Now she's more aggressive, but yet she still plays unselfish. She still looks to pass the ball, and you know she doesn't uh, um, dominate the ball. But um, just her leadership, I think, has made a big difference. The top-seeded wrestlers open the state tournament Thursday at noon against Waverly South Shore. DeSmith returns to the state tournament after a three-year absence. Rin Ostas and Autumn Wilkinson pace the Bulldog offense, both averaging 12 and a half points a contest and have helped DeSmith to a 21-1 record. The Bulldogs' only loss of the season came to third-seeded Corsica Stickney, which refocused their attention on defense. So we didn't play our best. We knew it. Um, we made a really concerted effort to make sure that we turned up our defensive effort. It was based, you know, what we're based on. So the girls have done that, worked really hard at it. And when, you know, we know when we defend, we're hard to beat. The Bulldogs and White River tip off Thursday's evening session at 6 o'clock. Corsica Stickney punched its ticket to state with a win over defending champion Castlewood in the Sodak 16. Jaguars entered the tournament with a 20 and 2 record, suffering losses to Avon and top seeded Ethan. The Jags have four players averaging double digits, led by eighth grader Avery Broughton's 17 points and 10 rebounds per game. Corsica Stickney opens tourney play against Ipswich. Tip off is set for 745 in Huron. Warner enters the state tournament having won 14 consecutive games, including a 10 point victory over Fulton area in the Sodak 16. The Monarchs are led by senior standout Lori Rogers, but it's the development of the supporting cast that's made the Monarchs dangerous. She's just a great player. She's got great hands and, and great feet. And, you know, those four players around her, Sid and, and, and Laura and, and Ashley and Keeley, do a great job getting her the basketball. And they shoot the ball well. So it's tough to guard. You know, do you, do you guard Lori or do you guard those four? And, and they, they do a great job, those four. And they probably don't get as much credit as they deserve. And, 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 and again, Lori's a great player. When she walks in the gym, everybody wants to know where she's at. The Monarchs open play at 145 Thursday against Freeman. Freeman qualified for the state tournament for the first time since 2010. The Flyers earned their way to Huron by knocking off Avon in the Sodak 16. The Flyers feature three scorers who average double figures, led by junior forward Emily Miller. Head coach Curtis Sage says his team's post presence will be key if they wish to make a deep tournament run. I think uh, our, probably our interior play, our inside play, as it was against Aben. If we can get some easy baskets inside, then that will open up our shooters from the outside. The Flyers face Warner in Thursday's quarterfinals. Ipswich closed the regular season with nine straight wins and is 18-3 and three overall, earning its spot at state with playoff wins over Potter County and Sully Buttes and a Sodak 16 victory against Bridgewater Emery. Tigers are making their first trip to the State B tournament since 1988, despite a rough start to the season. I think we just we dealt with a lot of adversity this year. Um, we end up with three girls tearing their ACLs either through the summer um, or during this season, and it, and it made our girls have to deal with that adversity. So a lot of our games lately have been close games too, and they've been able to fight through and hang together. I think a lot of that comes from all that work they put in together and all that adversity that they met all year long. Ipswich opens tournament play against Corsica Stickney. White River has advanced to the state tournament for the first time since finishing runner-up in Class A in 1992. After losing back-to-back -back games in early January, the Tigers closed the regular season with eight straight wins and posted playoff wins against Edgemont, Kadoka area, and New Underwood to reach the state tournament. Waverly South Shore made its way to the state tournament by upsetting second seed of Faith in the Sodak 16. No three of their playoff wins were upsets based on seeding. The Coyotes feel they can play with anyone, including top-ranked Ethan. It's going to be obviously different. I mean, that's, I think this is their fifth year in a row going to a state tournament, and this is our first. So, I mean, there's no doubt there's going to be nerves, but I, I just believe that, I mean, I, I just think we're ready. I think we're ready for the moment. 
Waverly South Shore plays Ethan in the quarterfinals. We'll take another look at the opening round matchups for the Class AA and B girls basketball and the AA boys next. You're watching the Kelloland High School Basketball Championship Preview Show.